All right, with uh, back to school uh, season upon us, many parents are swamped with tasks like homework and uh, feeding the kids. And our next guest uh, found a way, though, to combine those two. Joining us now is culinary kids expert Samantha Barnes. Good to see you from Radish Kids. Thanks for having me. I love me the on. name of the company. So cool. Thank you. Thanks. So you are teaching us how to eat healthy in the kids and also how to count maybe colors. So at Radish, we think that the kitchen is the tastiest place you can learn, mm -hmm. and not just how to cook, but math and science, geography, history, language arts, that there's so many teachable moments in the kitchen. So what we've done with our activities today, we've actually prepared snack activities. So okay. kind of we're calling it homework that you can eat, mm -hmm. so that when you're making an after-school snack with your kids, you can encourage them to do a little math or do a little science along the way. Okay, good, because I'm hungry. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay great. So here we have a make your own popcorn, and okay. what I love about popcorn, it's a whole grain. Mm -hmm. It's filled with fiber. It's a perfect after school snack. And then we have all these mix ins here. So if you would like, I know you're yes. wanting to mm -hmm. make your own popcorn. Um, we've this got this great little bag. It might be kind of loud. But... Mm -hmm. I'll let yes. you fill it up. <laughs> Get in there. With kids, that's half the fun. And then we're going to fill it up and then put some snacks, which is such a great idea. So we've got chocolate chips, cranberries, we have some seasonal flavors with pumpkin flavors, and we've got coconut, and then you can make it savory with some salt, mm -hmm. or you could even do butter at home, and we've got cinnamon sugar. So what are we learning? So right now, I want you to add what you're doing. So you've done okay. two cut measures. Okay. 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 And so then, three. okay, you're going to do three. Making it hard. Okay. And I've got a third <laughs> cup measure here, too. Okay. So if you want to add any of your mix ins. What is this, by the way? That's cinnamon sugar. Oh, okay. That's I good. like this. These okay. pumpkins. So you've got pumpkin almonds going there. So now you're making it, you're doing a teaspoon. So you oh, can okay. think about um, adding those ingredients. Or you can see how many teaspoons fit into your third cup. Okay. And then you can really turn this into a more complex math problem if you want to see. You've got four cups and you've got to serve it with seven friends. Um, I won't oh, put you okay. on the spot. Yeah, don't put me on the spot on that. I was an English major. All right, all right, what else you can force over there? So um, over here, Great. we've got a. I'm a work on my popcorn okay, you do that. Through. We've got our rainbow dip with um, homemade ranch. And so we think that kids who cook eat. Mm -hmm. Even something like healthy vegetables. Okay. So making your own ranch is a way to get your kids eating their own vegetables. So if you're interested, you can go ahead here and mm -hmm. add a little bit of chives or fresh, fresh dill. Okay. Add it right into our ranch. Um, that'll make it nice and, and pretty. Oh, it smells great. And so here we're talking about nutrition. Okay. Shake it up. You do, right? Shake yes. it up. Got to shake it up. Nutrition. Still on the popcorn. Yes. So every vegetable that you see here brings a different nutrient to our bodies. Yes. It helps our brains and our bodies grow nice and strong. Mm -hmm. And so we want to encourage kids to try and eat all the rainbow. So this activity is actually learning and counting how many different colors you're eating. And you okay. have these really cool little cards that I can't read because I don't have my glasses <laughs> on. But basically it helps the parent uh, explain this with the little card exactly. on the back. Exactly. So it's the recipe and then the, the activity. Um, right, what are you doing with the strawberries? All right. This is our third recipe here. So this is something that you can make on Sunday. It's great. Your kids can make it Sunday and have it prepared for the whole week after school. Oh, okay. This is making strawberry vanilla yogurt pops. And so you're going to freeze them. We have a strawberry puree right here. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you'll just go ahead and mix in a little of the puree and a little bit of the strawberry and just kind of take turns mixing them in over and over. And what's this teaching? So here we're learning the science of yogurt and learning a little bit about the active cultures that make yogurt so mm -hmm. so good for us and make us um, safe and, and sort of healthy and all, all school year long. And so you can freeze these overnight and then you'll have a popsicle for every day of the week. Right. And you're getting your child to Absolutely. eat Absolutely. And you could do something other than strawberries. You could do mango, pineapple. Mm -hmm. all okay, so fruit. you could download these recipes yes, online so, and you also have these kits. Yes. So these recipes are available to anyone online, radishkids.com slash snacks. And then our kit over here is our monthly subscription box, which is a thematic kit that brings all of this to light in your home every mm. single month. Such a great idea, right? And creative and fun. Yeah, what, and what age would you start kids doing this? Gosh, we've got kids as young as four, five, and six, mm. um, all the way up through 13 and 14. As you can see in the recipes, everything is illustrated. So kids who aren't even reading are able to follow along with the steps. Mm -hmm. And then readers and advanced cooks are able to really take an entire recipe and own their entire their meal. And I love the healthy con component to it as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Right. We Thank appreciate you for it. Us. Sorry, we made it out. such a mess of your display. Happy yes, snacking. it's okay. <laughs> we are glad.